Whammo! While the hula hoop put Whammo on the toy map, in 1948, it got its start selling slingshots. And the noise that that slingshot made when it hit a target sounded like Whammo. Whammo! James Zahn, editor-in-chief of the toy book, is helping us celebrate Whammo's 75th birthday with a look at some of the company's milestones. And we'll start with the Frisbee and Hula Hoop, known as Whammo's Fad Toys. Hey, hear that sound? The hoop's making that sound. It's the new Shoop Shoop Hula Hoop. The Hula Hoop is an early example of a toy that was fueled by television advertising. They sold 100 million of them in only two years. And in 1958, the Frisbee took off as the next hot fad. This is a toy that came along because kids were throwing pie tins from the Frisbee Pie Company at one point. To date, more than 300 million Frisbees have been sold, and they're credited with the rebirth of disc golf. There are more than 8,500 courses in the U.S. today. Get mom and dad into the game. Next up, the weird and wacky products from the 60s and 70s. Whammo brings you instant fish. It doesn't get much stranger than instant fish. Well, this was inspired by an African safari in which kids were seen playing with these baby fish. They discovered the tiny eggs survived for months in dried mud, so they turned them into a product. And within hours, real living fish. Then there was Silly String, invented in a lab by accident in 1972. This came about because a group of chemists were trying to come up with a way to create an instant cast. Instead, they got instant fun. Silly string. Sprays right on. Comes right off. We'll wrap with the Whammo of today. Its core products are still hot sellers. And of course, these classic toys are all being celebrated with new additions and retro editions, where you can get retro style Frisbee, Slip and Slide, Super Bowl, and oh yes, we've got the hacky sack. You can find these online and in stores like Target and Walmart. Celebrating an American icon. That's Whammo at 75.